Hey, hey fellas, today I thought I'd tell you about Horizon Zero Dawn, so let's jump into it. This is going to be kind of a two-parter. There were two open-world games that came out this week, those being Horizon Zero Dawn, and then a few days later, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And they are both open-world games, and they are both very, very different from each other. So I wanted to, I guess, kind of make a two-part video that uh, compares the two. The reason being that I want to specifically compare them is that there's just this general thought that I've been wanting to make a video about for the last, like, year. Uh, pretty much ever since Metal Gear Solid 5 came out, I've been wanting to make a video about my thoughts on open world games in general. And the fact that, in general, I don't like them. Uh, but anyway, this is Horizon. It is made by Guerrilla. They are uh, best known for their work on the Killzone series, I think. Uh, I really don't know anything else that they've done uh, off the top of my head. But here we go. So this is Horizon Zero Dawn. It is an open world game. Uh, really, I saw this game at E3. It was that weird E3 where there weren't any good games that they showed, except, oh wait, Horizon. That looked really sweet. It had robot dinosaurs in it. So, I bought it. And when it came out, uh, because I wanted to shoot robot dinosaurs with a bow, and that's what you do in this game. So, you are Aloy. Uh, she is of a tribe, and, uh, it's kind of like... It, it doesn't do this game uh, uh, justice to call it post-apocalyptic because it's like post-post-post-apocalyptic where civilization has rebuilt and we are in this like, we you know, we have bows and arrows and things and, uh, you know, they're, uh, we live um, in tribes and that kind of stuff. So it, it's, it's that kind of era. But there are, you know, remnants of the old world left over, uh, and that's where kind of sci-fi-ish stuff kind of comes in, including this little doohickey that you have that you find in the beginning of the game. Uh, so this is kind of your sci-fi thing that allows you to, you know, tag targets, do kind of video game-y stuff, like, like, uh, you know, scan these things, these machines over here, and see their weak points, and, uh, and tag them as well. So why, I, I mean, why don't we just do that? Um, you know, show you kind of the combat of the game. Uh, so you can get down, you can get sneaky. However, there isn't really tall grass around here. Uh, looks like there's some tall grass over here. There we go. And we can be stealthy, you know. And just kind of one-hit kill things with stealth. And I could just one-hit kill this thing too, but that would be kind of boring. Stealth is a little overpowered. So instead, let's shoot it in the canister. That's its weak point, uh, which is what this showed me. Oh, boy. I don't remember the controls. Um, right, it's that button. That's what I should have done. All right, so is this thing running away now? Nope. Slow motion and shoot it in the eye. Yeah. So, like, pretty cool. And then uh, you make new arrows just, you know, in your weapon wheel here. You use different... Uh, pieces like these metal shards that pretty much everything drops as well as branches to make more arrows and yeah so you kind of defeat enemies you collect their stuff you also grab things from all across the the world uh, that you use to craft things like arrows and that's uh, that's the good part um let's get into the open worldy stuff so Let's show you the map. This is the thing that ended up uh, sort of killing the enjoyment of this game for me, is that it's one of those games. You know those games that Ubisoft in particular has been making exclusively for the last several years? Uh, and then other companies have kind of made a few of them as well? You know, where you like, I don't know, maybe get a big map where most of it is obscured and then maybe you like climb on top of something really tall and uh, you know synchronize with it and then that thing shows you the map around it and also reveals a bunch of icons that you don't really know what they are until you go and do them and then it's uh, and then they get cleaned up, and so you are mostly incentivized to just run a bunch of errands cleaning up all these icons that are on your map for some reason. You know, 
those games. And so this is going to end up being a little bit shorter of one of these uh, videos, not only because there's just not a ton to say about this game, I don't think, uh, but then also because, like I said, it's a two-parter, and I want to get into the other game that does some, uh, that is also open world, but does things very differently. So, for example, let's just find something to do here. We've got, like, this thing over here. We've got this thing over here. And this thing. Let's just, let's open. Let's put our waypoint on one of these. And this is the thing I don't like about open world games, is that it's like, okay, so you put your waypoint on the thing, you fast travel to the uh, closest thing to it. You know. Loading screens aren't a big deal. But just this general flow, this pacing of fast travel to the closest thing and then point yourself directly at the thing that you put a waypoint on. Faithless killers. They're tribe unknown. Somebody's talking to me. Where's the thing that I put a waypoint on? Oh, I guess it went away. Maybe I did that by accident. Alright, there it is. And then you run straight at it. And it's a big dumb icon in the middle of the screen that tells you how far away it is. Okay, now we're in this area, and it's like, okay, so what do we do? Well, I know that for this kind of thing, you want to just turn this on, and you want to look for the glowy spot. Look at that. Ancient debris, huh? Let's go check it out. Mm-hmm. You know, grab the things on the way. And the other thing I'm bummed out about, speaking of, like, this thing being in the middle of the screen and all that, is... There's just so much crap on the screen. Alright, got it. And now is that icon no longer on my map? Now that icon is no longer on my map. Good job. You cleaned up the map a little bit. And now it's a little easier to look at. Because I did a thing that I'm not sure why I wanted to do. But maybe later somebody will want the thing that I got or something. Uh, so besides that, you've got, you know, your quests that uh, you can turn one of them to be active and then it, that it points you directly there. You have regular quests and you have side quests. Uh, luckily, you can turn off the tracking so that, you know, you don't have, you, you have one less annoying thing on your screen. So that's nice. Uh, but really, this is a game where, like, to me, it has moments of brilliance where, like, the the combat can be very fun, uh, especially laying traps and luring guys into them and doing that kind of stuff. That can all be fun. There is a skill tree. The skill tree is pretty cool, I guess. But basically, what I'm ultimately getting at here is that I, I'm really bummed out by the fact that this is just... Another one of those open world games where even though it looks really good and it has a really cool premise, the premise of the game is awesome. Uh, I just really dislike the game flow of point to something on the map and run straight at it and do the objective, not because you're curious about it, but because you want to get that stupid icon off your map. Uh, and that's a big problem for me. Alright, skipping ahead a little bit, I just need to uh, bring up one other thing. So, the other thing about this game that ends up bumming me out uh, is less about it being open world in a way that I don't like, and more about it very clearly being a triple A game, uh, and the things that come along with that. So this is one of those games that was clearly playtested a lot, or either that or just I don't know why, I don't know why the developers would think that it's a good idea, but uh, it's one of those games where uh, in this one it happens to be the main character. Some games have a sidekick with you, but in this game the main character constantly backseat games you, uh, in that you can never get to a puzzle without the game basically telling you exactly what to do. Uh, I think the best example is I got to a puzzle where there was a secret, uh, there was a sequence of numbers. There were things that I could rotate 
and then a sequence of numbers that said like 90, 360, 180, uh, and that kind of thing, and she said, oh, it must be referring to segments of a circle. It's like, first of all, that's super obvious, but second of all, can you stop backseat gaming me? Can you have, can we just have a real fucking, uh, puzzle in this video game? Or no, do people not like puzzles in their video games? And so we're gonna put them in, but we're gonna tell people how to solve them so that they can feel smart. I don't know. I, it drives me insane, uh, that, that type of game design, and it is all over this game. I mean, really, it, it, it really drives me insane. Uh, I guess the story, some people like the story quite a bit, but I, I can't get into the story either. Uh, maybe it's just because I don't like the game, but, uh, I, I just, I cannot care about the characters. Um, just the way that it's very, again, it's very triple A, the way that the game characters are, are, uh, presented to you, how just, like, uh, one-dimensional every character is, uh, that I've met so far, and, um, it, it reminds me of Mass Effect a lot, not in that you have dialogue choices, but in that every character is just so prejudiced and one-dimensional that it's just, it's so just, uh, ham-fisted, the, uh, the, the story elements that they're, that they're trying to get across, uh, so far, so... Yeah, I just, I don't like the story, I don't like the gameplay, I really like the artwork, I love how everything looks, I really like shooting arrows at robot dinosaurs, you know, these things are good, but everything else about this, this game I'm just finding to be a big bummer, and there you go, that's, that's how I will wrap it up. I'm not sure I'm even going to finish it because another game came out that I am about to go record a video on now. Uh, that will go hand in hand with this one, so stay tuned for introducing uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild.